Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Remember to like, comment, follow, subscribe, do whatever your soul is guiding you to do. Um, let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on out here. As you can see, we have the three of wands. So someone is like waiting for the perfect time to reach out to you. Someone has some type of change they're going through. So they could have some legal court cases going on, some type of court case that's going on. Um, they could be going through a separation because of the fact that we have the higher fin out here. Someone is very business savvy. They may want to open a business with you, work with you, give you some type of work opportunity. Um, someone, however, is living in fear. Um, someone is going through some type of either separation or facing some type of legal consequences and they're living in fear of this. Someone could be afraid that they are going to lose all of their finances um, throughout this court proceedings and things like that. For some of you, there's a masculine that wants to work with you, but is afraid to reach out to you. But however, he's still taking charge and reaching out to you. Someone may want to marry you. Someone may want to connect with you. It's like for some of you, someone uh, wants to have some type of business agreement with you so they can have a lifelong connection to you. So there will always be something that ties you two together. It's what I'm seeing. Someone uh, is trapped in something though. It's like they were guided to see things from a higher perspective and they didn't do that. Someone may have misjudged you or did something illegal in regards to you. Um, maybe trying to steal something from you, but they cannot. Um, I've been picking up on a masculine energy. Um, this person, I don't know if they're like a PI that is misusing their security clearance, but someone has been watching someone else. Like a masculine energy has been watching a feminine energy or just keeping up with her, but not in a legal way. This is illegal. This is someone that is violating your privacy. It's like everything you do on your phone, this person sees. Emails, text messages. If you're on YouTube watching videos, this person is seeing it as well. Someone is like trying to make you think that your ex is the one doing all of this, but it's really someone else that's involved in this, that's watching you, stalking you, and things like this. You could have worked for an institution in the past, that got gathered together to invade your privacy so these people knew quite a lot and know quite a lot about you it's like these people uh hot topic of the day or uh, their peak of the day was sitting and watching you either on social media or violating your privacy looking into your bank accounts and things like that and it was because of the clearance of the assets this person gave to them this man, he could have been hired to do some type of private investigation, but then he took it up a notch and got addicted to stalking you, okay? So this is a masculine now that's stalking you, won't stop stalking you. It's an addiction for him right now, um, and he's done quite a lot of illegal things, like even just the, what I mentioned, getting into your privacy and things of that nature. This is someone that feels like, that you belong to them now. They feel entitled to you. This is like an abuser, basically. This person is thinking that they can come towards you and give you some type of opportunity. And this is going to tie you two together. But if you think about it, this is someone that has been abusing you in a way. This could have been someone that even misjudged you because of what people told him about you. So this is someone that went from calling you weird, crazy, dumb, an airhead, don't know what you're talking about, you're not someone of substance, to now wanting to have some type of connection to you. And it's not going to happen because if you two had a contract together, it has been voided because this person took a wrong turn with how they choose to deal with the situation when it comes to you. This is someone toxic with the hanging man out here in the reverse position. This is someone extremely toxic and comes from a toxic background. This is someone that has some type of fixed mindset. So this is like a control freak. Okay, this person likes to have control over his women if he's married. He wants to have control over her, right? So this person is extremely toxic. This is not someone that can give you genuine love, even though they may try. They're going to F up really bad sooner or later, okay? So don't force anything with anyone when they come towards you. This is someone reckless, 
We have the Seven of Swords here in the reverse. Someone is busted in something they've been doing. They've been pretending like they were someone else, but they can't hide anymore. Someone has been doing something sneakily behind the, behind the scenes without you knowing or without a group of people knowing, but it's exposed. This is a toxic institution that this person has been a part of. There's a court case that's coming out of this. Someone is going to be facing legal uh, consequences for the things they've been doing behind the scenes. And they are living in fear of this. Someone is about to lose a lot of finances, their stability, their connections, and things like that. This could be someone high-ranking. This could be like a celebrity, someone well-connected, and things like that. But they've been crossing a line. When people find out what this person has been up to behind the scenes, it's going to be really embarrassing. It said, I can hear someone saying, why the heck would you want to do that to someone, especially someone that's actually living in their truth? Like, why would you want to bully someone? Why would you want to play mind games with someone? Like, what is wrong with you? Like, you're too mature for this. Like, I literally hear someone saying this to this masculine. Someone is having to sit down because... The things they've been doing behind the scenes has caught up to them. Someone is busted. They can no longer hide. They may even be throwing a fit because they can't bother you anymore. They can't invade your privacy. There's someone in here that's upset that you are getting a Ten of Pentacles offer or this is what you have coming in that's going to put you in your Queen of Pentacles energy. People have been working behind the scenes to steal this from coming into you to block it. But it looks like you're still receiving it. And this is why they are pissed off. But we don't care about these negative Betty's, these nasty Karen's and things like that. Because from what I'm seeing, this is a mixed group of men and women that have been working together to block your work. They don't want you to be successful. These people may know of your financial situations and they've been getting a laugh out of it because you may be, not be as financially stable as you used to be. So they've been watching your bank account and things like that, seeing that you don't have any finances. But the laugh, the joke is on them because judgment has been called in this situation and balance is being brought into your life. Your ancestors are stepping in. They're kind of over this mess. It's like they've been telling these people to sit down, go on with your life, but they're not listening. So now the ancestors, the universe is stepping in on your behalf and bringing balance into the situation. These people are about to be looking like a bunch of fools with nothing to laugh at or about anymore. This is really pathetic. This is a group of pathetic people. Pathetic people. I don't know why it came out that way. I guess they don't want me calling them pathetic, but that's what they are. Okay, judgment is coming in with the fact that we have the judgment and the chariot. That means that there is a legal case going on. The universe is actively taking action to bring balance into this situation. Um, yeah, Lord have mercy. Someone is being forced to walk away and go within because they're seeing the truth. This message is coming in. Something is going to be exposed to you about something a group of people have been doing behind the scenes to block your resources, to block your independence, your abundance. There could be something here about a union as well, but I'm going to wait up on that and see it. Someone here has something going on with a child. Uh, it may be that a child is not someone's, and so they're walking away from a relationship. It's like someone was trying to trap a masculine with a baby, but it turns out that the child is not theirs this could be an older child this could be a younger child it's different for each and every one of you but this masculine is walking away from this situation right someone is very unhappy really really unhappy about you receiving good news this uh you uh this masculine walking away from them to bring balance into their life because, because this is a karmic that this person has been with this masculine is stalking you behind the scenes this person is coming from an unhappy home as well a lot of these people are coming from an unhappy home i'm going to stop shuffling for a little bit so we can focus on the spread for what we have out here for now but a lot of these people are coming from unha unhappy homes. They're unhappy with themselves. So because they're unhappy, they want to see other people unhappy. So they think that you not having re resources make them better than you. But that's not true by a long shot. Most of these people are hollow, empty vessels walking about the face of the earth, 
can't connect with anyone, don't even know what genuine connections are because these are people that spend their time stealing from other people, manipulating and throwing temper tantrums, even though most of these people are like in their 40s, 50s and upwards. Very immature group, okay? Toxic as can be. They, they support each other's toxicity. There's nothing here about healing that they want to partake in because it's too much work for them. They'd rather be immature and toxic because healing is too much for them to do, okay? Someone is busted, like I mentioned. They can't hide anymore. They're busted. It says something was found out about something they've been doing behind the scenes, pretending to be something they're not, pretending not to be a part of something. You could have said something that exposed this person, and now they're having to live in their truth, basically. You forced someone to live in their truth, to accept that they are not as honest as they pin themselves out to be. This is a thief that can't thief that cannot hide anymore, okay? And this person is throwing a fit. Someone is pissed off because they can't steal from you anymore. This is why the Seven of Swords is in the reverse. They cannot steal from you. They're busted. Everything they've been doing behind the scene is exposed. Someone is being seen as toxic and they are trapped with these toxic people. Whoever this masculine is that has been stalking you as well has lost some type of opportunity with you. This person thought that they were better than you. Someone was put in a situation to bring balance into it, but then he may have accepted a bribe or something, some type of bribery, and went left. So it's like you hire a PI to investigate a situation, and instead of him doing his job, he accepts a bribery from another person, a toxic person in this group, and now he's trapped. So he may have written some type of false letter, sent some type of dishonest, a dishonest conclusion about his findings so that left you at a disadvantage it left you losing some, a lot of resources maybe even a job position some of you could have had to walk away from a job position because you were being bullied by this group okay and now balance is being brought into this this situation your situation and a lot of these people are about to be losing quite a lot this institution, the truth is being seen about them. They are toxic. They are toxic as can be. It doesn't get any more toxic than this institution. There's like some type of cult-like mentality. There's someone in here that's heavily religious or pretends to be religious. So they're not really even living in their truth. Your spirituality or whatever it is about you that separates you from these people, it bothers this person or this group. They want you to feel left out. They want you to feel uh, uh, rejected, but you don't. I don't. The mindset of these types of people is so immature but complexing at the same time. It's like, I don't know you from a can of paint. Why would I care to be around you? Part of what you have going on, it makes no sense. For example, like me, I have to know you for a long time to even put in effort to start opening up to you and to start calling you a friend. So these types of people don't make sense to me. There's something about a relationship that's coming to an end. It is extremely toxic. So there's a divorce proceeding going on. Someone could have been lying that a child belonged to their partner, but the child does not. So the partner is walking away. You've, you yourself, you've been going through quite a lot. It's like people have been doing like scare tactics behind the scenes to make you feel uncomfortable, but you've kept going. Like you've kept focused on your work, just going on with your life regardless of what has been going on. And spirit has taken note of that. They've seen that. They admire that. You stay focused like they wanted you to, like they guided you to the whole time. You've lived in your confidence. You didn't let these people tear you down and things like that. Some of, most of the stuff these people put you all through, they cannot go through it. And unfortunately, they're about to go through the same thing. You survived the experience. The only thing is they're not going to they're not going to survive what they are about to go through. Okay? It's a lot of endings. You have a lot of business opportunities coming your way, Queen of Pentacles. You have some type of beautiful offer that's coming towards you. You're about to be nurturing that. Whatever you're working on is going to grow. It's going to prosper right? Someone wants to invest in you. Someone wants to work with you. Someone wants to pay uh, pay you to work with them. Someone may want to propose to some of you. 
like a propose a job opportunity, business opportunity. Some of you, someone may want to uh, propose to you literally. And it's something that's going to be long lasting. You're about to be in your privileged woman, privileged uh, gentleman energy, as I call it, right? You have a new soulmate that's coming your way. So it could be that this masculine that has been stalking you behind the scenes was meant to have some type of connection with you, but because he took the wrong turn, you have a new divine soulmate that's coming in, a higher level soulmate that you are going to be working with. Because this contract with the other person is not going anywhere. Someone did not hold up to their end of the universal contract. Contract. That you and this person were supposed to work together and make some type of big change in the world. But this person accepted a bribe. This person let their ego get the best of them. This person has some type of sick obsession with invading your privacy. These people wanted you to feel uncomfortable so they would do things where you would know it was them, but they know, knew you couldn't do anything about it at the time. And now they are busted. They're, they're being held accountable for the actions they've been taking. Someone has been found out for stalking someone else, for invading your privacy. Someone may have misrepresented themselves, pretending to be either a lawyer, a lawyer, a judge. Someone pretended to be a police officer. Someone could have pretended to be someone of high ranking to have access to your private information. And they are facing legal consequences for that, right? Someone, someone here, you were up against another energy for like a job position and they invaded your privacy to make you look unfit, but this did not, it didn't go in their favor. It did not go in their favor. Like they lost their opportunity. This is like someone that's so jealous of you. And they started spilling all type of types of lies. It's like someone stole something from you to look into your background. When they didn't find what they were looking for in your background, they started making up stories. They started lying. And then they got so desperate to prove that you were not who you said you were, that they went and committed a crime, invaded your privacy. It's like someone call, calling your job, pretending to be uh, uh, like a legal attorney or something like that, only for that company to follow up and see who they really were. Or for some of you, the court decided to step in to do the right thing, to bring balance into this situation. There's an institution that's facing some type of ending legal issues, right? Because of their toxic ways. It's like these people group up together to come up against other people, to outcast people that don't think like them. You know, to outcast people that are not as dumb and incompetent as them, right? But you have a new soulmate coming in that you two will be working together, equal give and take. This is someone that's, you know, uh, uh, balanced within. And Spirit wants you to know as well that you are protected. You are heavily protected. You are loved. You are being guided by Source. Right? You're stepping into a whole new life. New life, new you, new spouse, new home, new place. You could be moving for some of you. You could be moving to another city, another state, another country. You're going to be moving for some of you to start a brand new life. Okay? You're about to be in your bougie energy. Someone may want to give to you because they're living in regret about what they cost you. So let's say you were working for that toxic company and they got together to bully you and they bully you so much that you ended up leaving. Someone there wants to give you some type of payout to rec uh, 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 to compensate you for your loss is what they're calling it. So you can expect to receive some type of message coming in really quickly. People have been trying to block this message. People are keeping an eye on you. So every time you post, every time you uh, uh, call, talk, anytime you send a text message, an email, it's being monitored, it's being blocked, right? Someone knows they cannot come towards you with the BS. These people are watching you on social media and they are afraid of the things that you are saying. This is a social media card. That means this group, they're watching you from behind the scenes. 
trying to keep up with what you are seeing, doing, what's coming towards you. These people are getting readings on you. They do this on a regular. These people feel entitled. But it's more so so that they can block you from receiving this abundance. People are fighting amongst themselves because you are being seen as a blessing. You are being seen as the truth. So whatever lie this group has been saying is not holding up anymore. Someone is bringing balance into the situation. This is a toxic group. This is as toxic as it comes. Okay? You are speaking some type of truth that is causing chaos amongst these people. You're living in some type of truth. You're doing something that is causing chaos amongst these people because the truth is being revealed. All the lies, the trickery they've been doing is being found out. It's like these people were invading your privacy. They were watching you, but they didn't realize they were being watched as well. Okay? So every time someone was opening your bank account to see what was in there, every time someone was watching your phone to see what you were watching, there was someone looking at them to see what they were doing and they didn't realize that. There, people in here are afraid that you know the truth about them. That they are into voodoo. They're into witchcraft. They go to get readings on each other. It's like a group of karmics living in denial. Not wanting to accept that Jean goes to get reading on Ashley. Ashley goes to get reading on Jennifer. Jennifer goes to get reading on Jessica. Jessica gets reading on John. John gets reading on everybody. This is what this is. This is a toxic group. And they are intimidated by you. It's that, it's that whatever you're doing is exposing the truth, but someone still wants to keep up a lie. And it's not working. It said at this point, you cannot keep up a lie. Like, give it up. The fact that we have the hanging man out here in the reverse with this. And the, the eight of cups and the five of wands. That Oh my gosh, that's dangerous. Okay. Someone wants to come towards you for, with some type of toxic city. They want to trap you in some type of toxic union. Someone has an altar of you. It's not specifically of you, but they have something of yours that belongs on that altar. And they, spin, they send dark energy towards it because they want you to shut up. They want you to stop breathing. They want you to stop moving forward. They want you to stop being hopeful. They want you to stop speaking the truth. They want you to just shut up. Someone wants, you, wants to bind you to them because they know how important you are in the cosmos. Someone wants you to be seen as someone toxic. It's like there's a group telling a masculine that Starcy is misrepresenting herself. If you go towards her, it's going to be a toxic union. There's also a Starcy in this group that fell from grace. Someone trapped themselves because of their collaboration with this group. Someone trapped themselves. This could be a masculine energy that was a star C that trapped himself with these people. Now they are indulging in toxic behaviors. They're trapped in something they feel like they cannot get out of. But that is their mindset they're going to have to fix. You can't fix those kind of things for those types of people. Right? Yeah. Someone is realizing that they're in something toxic they cannot get out. They're stuck. Someone is having a really hard time. It's like an illusion is being broken. An illusion is being broken. It's being dismantled about you, this institution. Someone from your past is heartbroken because of actions they took against you. It does not have to be an ex. It could be an ex. It could be family members, co-workers. Someone you had a good relationship with, like a friendship. Yeah, they are heartbroken because of actions they took against you to leave you out in the cold. This person wanted you broke, broken, destroyed, and they don't even understand why they wanted that for you, honey, to be honest with you. This person can tell you why they wanted this for you. 
They don't understand why they left you out in the cold, why they betrayed you, why they told lies on you, why they will uh, partner up with a group of strangers to try to destroy you. Now they know that a king of pentacles wants to come towards you and they are suffering for that. They don't want this person come, coming towards you because they know you and this person will possibly be successful together. So you have an ex for some of you. Oh my gosh. Having nightmares. Regrets. This king of pentacles for some of you could have participated in this nonsense. Yeah. Now they're all confused. It's not just this king of pentacles. They're all confused. Having horrible anxiety. This is what they wanted for you. Because they already assumed everything was going to go in their favor. We're all gonna grow up. We're all gonna grow, group up together and come after this one star C. And we're gonna be successful. We're gonna block their forward movement. We're gonna block their work. We're gonna invade their privacy. We're gonna get on their social media platforms and block them. And then we're going to go and boast about it about how we block their forward movement. Only to end up with legal issues. Only to end up fighting amongst themselves, being the confused one. Dealing with anxiety and nightmares. Someone cannot get any sleep. Someone cannot get any sleep. Someone is not seeing straight. They are confused as heck. The skink of pentacles, whatever he did, is hunting him. It is hunting him. The fact that we have the nine of swords and the two of swords after each other is extremely alarming. This man is not getting any sleep. Let's just put it that way. This brother is not getting any sleep. He has lost a lot. He's still losing a lot. He may want to bring balance into this situation. He doesn't know how to. But he is losing a lot of sleep, peace of mind, everything you can think of. This person could be losing finances as well. Because karmics don't think about the effects their actions could have on them and their family members. This stalker that's stalking you, going through your phone and things like that. This is not someone you want to be with. This is someone that betrayed you and they didn't even know you. Someone in here, they didn't know you and was being tested by this institution to see what they would do. So basically, they failed a test. Because if you would do that to someone you don't know, how can we trust you? And this person may have spent some time around you and they knew you were genuine, but the money was too good. The pressure was too much. So they took the bait. So if you do that to a, a stranger who you know is a sweetheart, did nothing to you, how can we say you're loyal? And this institution is seeing that about that person. Someone failed a test horribly. Someone was being tested by the universe and they didn't realize it and they flunked that test. This is like also God putting a star seed in your life and testing you to see if you're going to do what's right. Bring justice into that star seed's life. Bring balance into their life. And you choose to uh, uh, stab them in the back. Ten of swords them. And then now the truth is revealed to, revealed to you and you think you can come back into their life and give them some type of work opportunity, give them a check. Like, oh, this is for your sorrows that I cost you. Everything you went through could have been avoided, but I was too imbalanced, too immature, too insecure to do the right thing. That's what this person is. This stalker, and I don't know if it's this king of pentacles, but there is a gentleman in here that's been stalking you that did just that. This is someone that has been abusing his security clearance. And he's haunted by this, by the truth coming out. Someone wants to come towards you to make you some type of love offer, build with you. They know they cannot because of the actions they took against you. Like, how does how do you go from betraying someone? bullying someone to now wanting to be in a relationship with them make it make sense i keep hearing something about this person being married and their wife steps out on them as well 
or they were stepping out on their wife or something. There's something in here about infidelity for this stalker. Something about he and his wife. Either the wife steps out on him or he does it to her. But it's not a happy home. But when you meet this masculine, he acts like he's in a happy marriage. He'll be like, well, I talked to my wife about this. I talked to my wife. They don't talk about nothing. These two might as well be living on two different planets. They don't love each other. But he may be financially stable, and that's why she's been with him for so long. So she tolerates, or he, to they tolerate each other because they are financially binded together. Something about businesses. Okay? They're financially binded together, so it's hard for them to leave each other. So if this person comes towards you, it's to keep you in a third party situation. They can't divorce this woman because they'll end up losing all of their finances. So you have to be a side piece, basically. She has authority in his life, so you can anything you say does not go. That's what one of those situations is. And this masculine still has the audacity to want to compete with another masculine that's interested in you. Because he thinks that you two are soul twins, even though that contract is voided. Because he wasn't man enough to do the right thing. It's the foolery for me. It's the toxicity. It's like the whole story about him is just toxic. The minute you are okay with invading someone's privacy, I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want nothing to do with you. Because in that sense, you're not a protector. You're a violator. So if you violate someone in that way, how else are you going to violate them? And if you do something like that for money or peer pressure or whatever, well, what else will you do for money? Anything? It's not happening. Starseed, you have a new contract coming in. You will be having your Ten of Pentacles. There is a toxic queen of wands in here. This is possibly who's been leading everyone astray. This person possibly pretending that she knows you, but she doesn't know a goddamn thing about you. This institution has been pretending like they know something about you. They don't know nothing about you from a can of paint. These people don't know you from Adam. Can't even tell you your real name, when you was born, your birthday. Don't know none of that. These people went through an extensive length to find something out about you and they still could not. And the information they received about you was not even true, was not the truth. They could have gone to friends, family members to get some type of 411 on you, but the 411 they got on you was not genuine. It wasn't true. So these people have been doing spell work. It's like people going through an extensive length to find out your birth chart, see what type of opportunities are coming your way and things like that. And then sending you spell work to block it, but then they're wondering why your future is still abundant. That's because you don't know me. You don't know who this star C is. You don't know anything about, about us, right? Our identity is secret. Someone in here could have been in a relationship with a queen of wands they're trying to get away from because this is someone that's loose. This is not the type of queen of wands. Yeah, someone is not moving forward with a queen of wands. Like they're getting out of a relationship. This queen of wands thought that she was going to be moving forward with some type of work opportunity. It's not being given to her because she's being seen for who she is. Someone, someone toxic. This woman went above and beyond to do something for resources, for a position, and she's not receiving it. The truth is being seen about her. This is someone toxic as heck. This is someone that will do anything to get what she wants. Sleep with men, lie, misrepresent herself, lie on paper, forge signatures and things of that nature just to get what it is that she wants, right? But she's, her forward movement is done. She's not receiving some type of work opportunity that she thought she was going to receive. It's going to someone else. It may be coming to you, but you'll have to think about this if you want this work opportunity because it could end up being with this stalker that's not mature enough to give you a genuine love offer because this is not someone that thinks for themselves. It's like, it's like you have you have a, a, a Jizzy Bell and an Empress Energy, but the Jizzy Bell presents themselves in an Empress Energy and they do it so well that you're fooled 
and you pick the Jizzy Bell over the Empress Energy, things don't work out with the Jizzy Bell. Now you want to come to the Empress Energy. It doesn't work that way. You already made your decision. Stick to the Jizzy Bell. Empresses are not second, second options. We don't settle for stuff like that. So stick with the Jizzy Bell and do what, what works for the two of you. Right? Yeah. This woman knows she's not moving forward, but she's coming up with a plan on how to interfere. She's going to keep interfering. This is someone that's sick-minded. This woman is sick. Mentally unstable. Mentally unstable. Someone here was in a relationship where a masculine has been trying to get her to calm the heck down because she's so imbalanced. And every time she does something, he tells her, man, I can't do this anymore. I'm out. And then she'll boo-hoo-hoo cry, promise to do better, promise to change. A week later, she's right back to her toxicity. Some of forward movement is blocked. And they're coming up with ways to block your forward movement or block this union from coming together, but they cannot. Someone is about to go through some type, some type of heavy karma. Heavy karma. Everything is being exposed about them. Yeah, didn't I tell you you're an empress? You are an empress. Someone is trying to block your abundance. Someone is trying to block you, Empress. And this is because she's intimidated by you. Extremely intimidated. But there's nothing this woman can do to you. You rank higher than these types of people. This could have been some someone that had some type of delusion and believed that she was a stronger witch than you. You're not a witch. You're a star seed. But she said that she was a stronger uh, uh energy worker than you this is a dark worker you're a light worker you automatically won their battle so you are showing up as an empress energy and business minded girl you are the dream woman for any man okay all her all of her uh, uh, voodoo stuff she's been doing is not working women like this cannot get men genuinely they have to do voodoo to get them and this is what she was doing. This is possibly someone that will leave work in the middle of the day to go pay for voodoo. Because they can't get a man in a genuine nature. With Because if you're karmic, what man wants to be with you? You show up as your karmic self, it's a turn off. Unless they're karmic themselves, then they won't see the red signs. The warning signs, right? So you are authentic, gosh. You are, I see why this woman is intimidated by you. So the truth is being seen about you. So all the lies this toxic creature has been saying is not holding up, right? You are the truth. You have some inspiring news coming in. Victory, girl. I love it for you. I love it for you. You're see, being seen as someone that's business-minded, very creative, intuitive as can be. Very logical. This woman was intimidated by your accolades. She wanted to prove that you were not who you said you were. Yeah. Been collaborating behind the scenes. You're going to be meeting with someone that's going to be giving you an opportunity that may want to confess their emotions for you as well. For some of you, this is just going to start off as a work relationship, but it's going to blossom into something else. What a mess. Yeah, these people have been watching you, trying to make you feel uncomfortable, trying to make sure that you missed this opportunity. They didn't want you receiving this proposal, but you are going to be receiving this proposal, and it's a solid one from your new uh, uh, divine partner. This other masculine that's been stalking you, honey, please don't. Do not entertain that. Okay? Do not entertain that. We have the Knight of Cups out here. Oh, someone wants to work with you and have love with you. But I will be mindful because it's showing up in the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles people can be selfish people. And the Knight of Cups people can be like shaky, shaky. One minute they like you, the next minute they don't. The next minute they're in love with you, the next minute they're not in love with you. Too shaky, shaky for me. One is selfish and the other is shaky. The Knight of Pentacles can be committed as well, but only if you are committed to them as well, which will make sense. But 
these are like narcissists in a sense. Like they they don't give easily. These are people that you kind of have to spell it out in A B C for them. Like if you need something for them, they're not going to like easily just give it to you. Even if you are in a relationship with them. That's the thing about the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're they're loyal friends and things like that, but they're they don't give easily, and that's when it comes to love too. But the fact that these two are showing up together is hopeful. So I'm thinking it has to do with the stalker that thinks that they can come in and give you money, give you some type of proposal, and it's going to turn into some type of love situation, but it's not a mature love. Okay. This person chose this woman over you. This is why this Knight of Pentacles is out here. He chose this woman over you previously, but it didn't work out. So now he wants to come towards you. My goodness. What a mess. I will see you all in the next one. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.